Never shall I forget that night, the first night in camp, which has turned my life into one long night, seven times cursed and seven times sealed. Never shall I forget that smoke. Never shall I forget the little faces of the children whose bodies I saw turned into wreaths of smoke beneath a silent blue sky. Never shall I forget those flames which consumed my faith forever. Never shall I forget that nocturnal silence which deprived me for all eternity of the desire to live. Never shall I forget those moments which murdered my God and my soul and turned my dreams to dust. Never shall I forget these things, even if I am condemned to live as long as God himself. Never. This passage comes from Elie Wiesel's memoir titled Night. The setting primarily takes place inside concentration camps. Um, those concentration camps being Auschwitz, Buna, and Buchenwald. I don't know how to pronounce them, I'm sorry. Um, earlier parts of the book take place in Saigeth, Transylvania. The time frame from the, of the novel is from 1941 to 1945, which is during World War II. The main characters of the book include Elie Wiesel. He's the protagonist and the narrator of the novel. He's 15 years old throughout the majority of the book, and he is a prisoner inside the concentration camp. Um, Appearance-wise, he looks as he looks like any other prisoner. He is his hair is shaved off, and he's thin and weak. Um, another character from the novel is Ali Wiesel's father, Shlomo Wiesel. He is in his fifties during this time period, and he similarly to his son is weak and you know he's on the older side so he has less strength than Ellie and he um, also has no hair on his body like other prisoners at the concentration camp. The novel centers around Ellie Wiesel's experience in concentration camps during the Holocaust. At the age of 15 he had to endure inhumane treatment and witness terrible things that are really unimaginable to the everyday person. Um, his experience during this time would forever change his perception of people and the world in general. It would also alter his view of God and, you know, really impact his faith and his belief system as a Jewish person. Um, there are two main conflicts in this novel. One, of course, being the inhumane treatment of Jewish people during this time period, during the Holocaust. As many people know, Jewish people were oppressed and they were you know, tortured in these concentration camps. Um, the other conflict is an internal conflict that Ellie has to face within himself. He begins to question his faith and he starts losing faith in God and, you know, his belief system is completely al al altered, sorry, because of what he's going through. And the novel discusses themes of abuse, survival, prejudice, fear, religion or faith, and family. The main lesson that the protagonist learns is that he has a voice and it is important that it be heard because he was fortunate enough to survive the Holocaust and many others didn't and since he is still alive he has to tell his story and make sure that history doesn't repeat, it, repeat itself and that he helps any other people that he can because in this world there's many people who are oppressed and don't have basic human rights and are treated very terribly so he just learns that he has to express his concerns about certain issues to raise awareness and to make sure that all people are treated equal. The most memorable part of the novel to me was Ellie's father's death because I think it played the most because I think it impacted him the most out of everything he saw, everything he had to go through. I think his father's death really changed him and would forever change him as a person. I highly recommend this book for anyone to read, really, because it is a reminder of something that happened in history that is so terrible and so just sad. And I think that it shouldn't be forgotten and that people have to use their voice to make sure that everyone around the world has those basic human rights that people during the Holocaust were deprived of. And 
I think if you like books about the Holocaust or World War II or oppression or anything like that, you'll enjoy reading this book because it really brings light on those topics. I think that reading this book, knowing that the author was 15 years old when he had to endure this really changed my view because I'm of a similar age as him and just imagining those things happening to me is just, you know, crazy. It's unimaginable. Like, I can't think of that happening to me. So I think that it changed my perception of things and of World War II and the Holocaust. And I think for that reason, other people should read it because it's one thing to know that it happened, but it's another thing to picturing it happening and like actually put yourself in the shoes of somebody who had to experience that. So yeah, I believe that this book deserves a little bit more attention and it is a good read for anyone who is interested.